Hey guys, so we got the gamma ray spectrum from the soil sample that we took from Westlake Landfill. So I'll go ahead and let you guys uh, see that information now. All right guys, so I'm back with the results of our gamma ray spectrum of the soil sample of the um, area around the Westlake Landfill. So we'll go ahead and run through this together and I'll show you what I got here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of all the amplifiers and the filters, right? And this is the raw data right here. This is what I see when, when it, um, this is a two day, three hours and 41 minute spectrum, okay? So we, we took a rather long spectrum, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, so we'll just add a couple of these filters here. One of these amp amplifiers. Okay, and now on the left-hand side, over here, this region is your typical low energy x-ray area of the spectrum, okay? So normally you'll have this peak that runs along this area here, all the way up to this peak here, and that back down this other side, right? But because we put it in the lead box, it blocked some of that x-ray, uh, low energy x-rays and others there, so. We'll go ahead and zoom in here, see what this peak is. Like beryllium 133, I think, or barium 133. Barium 133, yeah. This isotope is used as a reference source. It's more likely to be encountered in everyday life. Well, I found some. Unlikely to be encountered. So we got some barium 133 here. Let's see what this peak is. Luthenium, I think it's called. Page not found. I think it's luthenium. Go ahead and take a peek at that. It's a thorium-232 chain. I'll go ahead and press on that so you can see what it is. Come on, information. There we go. Yeah, thorium-232. Very common isotope. This one is... Radium-226. Yeah, yeah radium-226. A little bit of luthanium-176. Typical stuff, guys. Background. Okay. Unidentified. Unidentified. Probably an annihilation peak. Yeah. There's your electron-positron annihilation peak. Thorium-232 peak. At background levels, guys, this is all pretty low stuff. Cesium-137, which is pretty ubiquitous, but it's not a good thing. This is one of the worst fission products. Bismuth-212, Thorium-232 chain. Okay, there's your uranium peak. And this is your typical ratio. 99.3% uranium-238 and 0.72% U-235. Okay. Let's see. 152. Rather rare isotope, one of the markers of nuclear tests and accidents. Small amounts can be found in trinonite or nuclear test sites. So we got a little bit here, but I usually find it in just about every spectrum. Actinium 228, Trithorium 232 chain, Ethereum 28, Europium, okay, so this is our uranium peak here, it's your same thing, naturally occurring. Hmm. 
Okay, pretty much the same thing here, yep. Okay. Isn't this two one four? So that's your your uh, radium two two six. Isn't this two one four? What does that say? Yeah, business two one four. There's our cobalt sixty P. So it's, it's only done artificially. Difficult to shield because it's high energy gamma radiation. They use this stuff in high pressure gauges, um, many uses for cobalt 60. Okay. We're getting into our higher energy stuff here. Cobalt 60. Cobalt 60 peak, radium 226, AU152, back this out a little bit, because you don't find much up here in the top, just a few chains. Thorium 232. Very typical stuff, right, guys? So we'll go here. I'll show you my background, home background, and we'll take a peek at that. So I'd have to take, uh, let's see here, something like that. It's pretty typical stuff, guys. Have all the same stuff in here, right? Finer cobalt 60. There it is, cobalt 60. 45.2. It's not giving me any pulses. Pulses though. I don't know why that is. All right. Well, yeah, it's pretty typical stuff. You know, there's no major peaks here, and um, I think we're pretty much clear on this soil sample here. So I will take this out tomorrow, and we'll get another sample put into the lead box, and we'll go ahead and take some long measurements and see if we get much the same. If we do, we'll go ahead and discontinue the, the Westlake landfill sample, and we'll move on to the Jana Elementary samples. Right? So I want to thank everybody for watching, and I wanted to get this information out to you guys. So, um, yeah, not, not bad stuff here, guys. If you look up at the top, you see 444M CPS. That's 0.444 counts per second. 0.44 counts per second. And a lot of that's due to the lead box that we put in there. So it's getting much less exposures because of the lead. So, All right, guys. Well, I hope this helps, and I'll see you soon.